Google Search Console Index Coverage Submitted URL not found 404 How to fix it? Should we fix it? What's the best practice? Will be explained in this video tutorial. First thing to do is press on the error itself, as in the tab, and then press on the URL in question. You may see many different ones. Looking at last crawl, as in when did Google see this problem? If it's recent, then you might think, hmm, that's a recent issue. Test robots.txt blocking, that's the option. You don't have to use that for submit URL not found. But you should use fetch as Google. When you fetch as Google, ideally you want complete fetch and render or partial. But if you end up seeing not found, errors, unreachable, redirected, for the URL index coverage report is showing you, then it's to do with your web server setup. Now, you may be using different content management systems. In either case, having access to your website files and folders is only smart growing your business website. So keep that in mind. Because content management systems like Wix or Shopify, they don't allow you to modify or even optimize your website properly. Knowing that just because something is easy to use doesn't mean it's the best option. Such as Shopify or Wix or Blogger or free WordPress sites. Make sense? You should always definitely consider controlling your own website. Because if you're using the Search Console, it's a very important factor for your business rankings, for your keyword rankings. That's why looking at this, if you end up seeing certain things here, and if you have access to your web hosting account, then you can troubleshoot it much easier. Let's take a look at this URL. It's partial, status partial. That means we've tested patches Google for the URL, submitted URL not found. And what Search Console shows us with Fetch as Google, it's saying, you know what, this is how people saw your website, as in your URL that you're testing. And this is how Google bot saw it. Ideally, you want something identical. So both versions should be identical, if not very similar. Make sense? Because Google Rankings evaluates your landing pages, evaluates its ranking in terms of how people see it, how people would experience your landing pages. That is taken into equation for ranking purposes. And if you end up seeing something completely different in terms of what people see and how Google bots on the page, then you need to keep an eye on that. Also, you have fetching tab here. Here you can see server response call. Ideally, you want status 200, which is OK. And it's not 404, page not found. Now, at this moment, once you can see that Google can now access it, then you can basically ignore the warning altogether because you can now access it. But if you still can't access it, then Googlebot fetches Google can't access it, then I'm afraid you need to do troubleshooting on your web server. And I can't show you how to do that because it could be for various different reasons. Also, remember that all known pages is a historical data shown to you. Okay, if you work with a web developer, you can press on share and copy the link, Does it have link sharing enabled, copy the link in question, and pass it on to your web developer, because he or she should be able to fix this, or at least guide you in the right direction. Also, it's smart to triple check the sitemaps that you've submitted, 
to see, you know what? Is the sitemaps I have currently submitted, are they having the URL that is not found by Google? If so, then this is what you should be doing for that. First thing, this is what the submitted URL not found means. Actually, I'll mimic the issue so that you see. Okay, let me refresh that page. And there is the URL in question that Google is having problems with. That means it was in my sitemap. And yet, when he tried to request it, he couldn't find it. Yeah, if that URL is important, then you leave everything as it is because you can now see it. You've done the troubleshooting. Status code 200 was shown to you. So all is okay. You can ignore it. But what if it's somehow a private URL? If that's the case, you need to then remove that URL from the sitemap. If you're using WordPress, popular plugin like Yoast, you can press on the gear icon and select Allow search engines to show this post in search results. Select No. Should search engines follow links on this post? Select Yes or No, that's actually not going to make any difference. And press on Update. Because now when Google sees the sitemap next time, it's going to see, you know what? That URL we couldn't find is no longer in the sitemap. Therefore, it's not going to complain anymore. But remember, that is for a page that you don't want to see in Google's index and rankings. Make sense? Because if it isn't, then you don't follow this method. Also, it's rather confusing when we are seeing all known pages. Because you may see URLs here that was available on your site three months ago, six months ago. And you don't have that URL on your website anymore. That means it's deleted. If that's the case, this is the question you have to answer. And that is, the old thing that Search Console is complaining about, as in you can't find it anymore, do you have related content on your site? If so, utilize 301 redirection. You can use your web hosting account to do that. If you're using popular content management systems like WordPress or different ones, there are many um, plugins that allow you to do 301 redirection. Definitely check them out. If you're advanced in your web hosting account, you can go to File Manager. If you're using cPanel, perhaps GoDaddy, SiteGround, InMotion and others. Go and locate .htaccess file, download it so you have a backup, then right click, add it. Here you can use 301 redirection using .htaccess file for Apache servers. Remember, you only do 301 redirection when Search Console index coverage submitted URL not found is shown historical data. For a URL that's deleted from your site, that means it's no longer available and you have similar content, then you can do 301 redirection. Now, why does Google show submitted URL not found 404 for all known pages that perhaps existed six months ago and it's no longer on your site? It does that because First of all, it has a long memory. Second, that URL in question may be um, available on external sites. Perhaps scrapers, website analyzers. Maybe they grab that URL and its content and place it on their external site. And Google follows that link. And then it tries to request it, but it can't find it. Once again, I'll show you the best practices and how to remedy. Usually, 
double check the sitemaps in question. If it's a URL, submit a URL not found, 404, coming from the sitemap you've submitted right now, then you want to find out why in the world Google can't see that URL. And then, fetch as Google is your friend, triple check everything. If you can access it from the front end, and if you can fetch as Google and render it, then that's great, then you can perhaps ignore this index coverage error. Okay? But, you know, if you troubleshoot that and you can't fix it, see, you can't fetch it as Google, then you need to check your error logs to find out why. Because I'm just showing you one example URL here. Some sites may have thousands upon thousands of submitted URL not found. Make sense? If that's the case, then you have to ask, okay, you know what? Did you make recent changes? Did you change permalinks, as in URL patterns? Did you use a new plugin? If so, did that plugin cause any conflicts? Have you updated your website? Have you moved your site from HTTP to HTTPS? Because all these could cause index coverage submitted URL not found. Make sense? In either case, at this moment, you are still unsure as to how to remedy this, then perhaps contacting your web hosting company and showing them screenshots of the URLs may be ideal. Or you can definitely contact your web developer to show him or her these issues. One way or another, do not ignore index coverage errors for your Google Search Console verify search property, it's in website property, because it's to do with your rankings. And if you ignore it, these issues will not go away by themselves. And if you're relying on Google rankings and website traffic, then it's never smart to lose those rankings. Because if unfixed, then your rankings will keep going down. That's why Search Console Index Coverage Report is your friend. Anytime you want to explore more details and learn more, press on the question mark icon on the top right hand side corner and you can search the Help section because the new Search Console provides great insights through the Help section. You can always move the screen to somewhere else according to your setup of your screen. I thank you very much for learning with me. If you benefited from this video session, please do give it a like and share it, and I'll talk with you in the next video session.